Masters. Welcome to One Little Coder. In this simple Python tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure your Visual Studio Code or VS Code to a keyboard shortcut to run Python scripts. By default, when you get your Visual Studio Code, you might have to select something like this or just click this and then you have to click this button to run your Python code. That's, that's, that's how exactly you would have to run a Python code when you get Visual Studio Code installed by default. But you know, this, this is a bit of a hassle. So every time I have to reach my mouse or a touchpad and then go click that button. And it's not very productive when you are a programmer, like you have to leave the keyboard. Keyboard shortcuts sometimes make life much, much easier. So I'm going to show you how you can assign a keyboard shortcut. And especially if you're somebody like me who comes from the Jupyter notebook world, or I, I used to use uh, RStudio a lot where uh, control enter and command enter used to be the way to run code. I'm going to show you how you can configure the exact same thing for Python using Visual Studio Code. So it's quite simple. Whatever I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you on Mac, but on Windows, it's going to be very similar. All you have to do is go find the preferences. On Mac, I'm going to go to the menu bar and click code. And then I'm going to say click preferences. And after you click preferences, I'm going to click keyboard shortcuts. So this is way one to get keyboard shortcuts. The next way is you can just simply do Control K, Control S, sorry, Control K, Control S. So did I say Control, I'm sorry, Command K, Command S. So once again, Command K, Command S. So you can see on my on my bar, Command K, Command S. And you would get this keyboard shortcut list. After you get the keyboard shortcut list, search for Python run terminal, okay? So all you have to do is search for Python run terminal and then you would see two options. So one is to run the Python code completely. So you can see one is to run the Python code file, the entire code on terminal. The second one is just run the selection or the particular line. So you can see one run Python file in terminal, second run selection in Python terminal. So there is a difference here. One is your terminal bash shell. The other one is it's going to run it on Python console. So this is something that you need to keep in mind. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say double click here the key binding so you have to double click here the key binding and then type the keyboard shortcut that you want to use so i'm going to use command enter as the keyboard shortcut and when i do that it's going to tell me that there are nine existing commands that already have this key binding it's quite important for you to go here and then just take a quick peek understanding you know what are those shortcuts like do you have any conflicts if um, if you are trying to you know run the python script if will something else happen just just get an understanding of these things like by reading these options but otherwise you're fine so now once again i'm going to just go say python run terminal and then i'm going to open this double click com command enter and then i'm going to press enter nothing else just press enter and now at this point you can see the symbol has changed command enter will run this python file so i'm going to go here just now click command enter and then you can see it ran the entire file for example instead of hello if i say hello world and then i say command enter you can see it ran command enter like all the files oh i'm sorry um, all, all the lines of the code the entire script so the next thing that we just saw the shortcut is shift enter to run only one line of the code or the selection the thing you have to notice is right now it is running on terminal the bash but when you do that it would run on your python console so let me show you that so when you click this and run shift enter let me select the selection put shift enter you can see that now it has opened a python console right so now when you try to run command enter it's going to show you an error it's going to show you an error because now you are inside the terminal so technically what you have to do is you have to kill this terminal right you have to kill this terminal and then again do command enter for it to run properly so if you use shift enter or run a single line of the code just make sure that you kill your terminal because that terminal is now a python console just kill that and then come back here and run it okay so one final time i'm going to quickly show you with the keyboard um, letter casting on so p keyboard sorry what am i doing toggle screen cast mode so now you are going to see what all the keys that i'm pressing so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to select and then i'm going to say command enter and it you saw that it runs python file i want to quickly show you how to change this option preferences keyboard shortcut how am i going to do control command k command s 
after that you get the screen and then here you double click this and then you can select a different key binding as well if you want so if, if i want control enter i can say control enter come back here now when i do command enter nothing happens right see i did command enter nothing happened why because we have changed the key binding i'm going to do control enter and, and you can see that it has ran so i prefer command enter so control k control s and then double click command enter click and then come back here command enter and then that's it you are set to go so no more mouse no more clicking buttons all you have to do is command enter just like your r studio or jupyter notebook whatever other tools that you use you are good to go with your visual studio code to improve your programming productivity i hope this video was useful quite a short video a lot of people seem to be struggling with this that's why i made this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise i hope you stay safe take care of yourself happy coding